All right, guys, welcome back. We got the All My Iron Man side quest. We have week number two, which is actually the 2.1. Let's go over to Legendary. It looks like we've got a uh, Tigra boss. Let's quickly just double check that nothing has changed on the nodes. So it's still Head Over Heels. It's still Power of Love. So that should be fine. And then let's take a look at the Tigra boss. So right back at it. So if you knock them down... Uh, by heavier special to become debuff immune, that could be annoying. Each time the attacker throws the same special in a row, the defender gains a fury. Uh, fuel the fire. Whenever the defender gains a fury effect, they become passively unstoppable. If they already have the unstoppable, they become passively unblockable. So, I think we're just going to look for damage over time here. Whenever the attacker's abilities fail to trigger due to a chance, they are inflicted with the heal block. Okay, I think what we're going to do is, I think this is an easy uh, torch fight here. So we're going to throw torch on, and then really we can just mix this up with anybody. Uh, but really, so let's just have fun. Uh be anyone. I, I still like my Doc Ock there. We can, do some, we can use some Odin. Maybe throw some uh, Diablo on there. And let's go Nimrod. Might be a little bit overkill, but let's go ahead and, and test this out. We'll do one path for now. Uh, for completion, and then I'll probably do a live stream later where we finish it up. Maybe we'll jump into Epic as well then. So here, let's go Diablo. Let's put the Nullify on, and we'll take out the champion. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's see if he can actually throw a special attack. Thank you. Oops. There we go. Threw that heavy attack too early, but that's fine. There we go. One fight down. Alright, we got a. Let's go to Nimrod here. I guess Jubilee. So same as last week, they get that indestructible, and then you throw a heavy attack to finish the fight. So pretty straightforward. Next fight, we've got Quake. Uh, let's go with Knockback. As long as our parries are working, shouldn't have a problem here. We got the evade without <laughs> getting the uh, getting her like aftershocks or whatever. So that's good. Drop a special two, get the triple debuff. Of course, parry doesn't work. Again. Come on, there we go. Heavy attack to win it. Alright. That one is easy. Next up, we've got we can go. Oh, you know what? Doc Ock is still really good against Vision because we can just he won't get to his uh, he won't get his synthesis. Or if he does, he's gonna get the he's gonna get power locked. I just 
have to get rid of that heal block there. There we go. As long as I can parry heavy against him. There, see? He goes to get a synthesis, but he gets power locked. I got the triple debuff on him. Again, 22 direct damage. That's always nice. And again, another heavy to finish it off. Alright. Guess we didn't use Odin, so let's go ahead and use him. Odin Force ready, and then we'll build up to a nice big special two. That heavy attack just bypassed the the node altogether there, so that was fine. One more fight here. Uh, let's go ahead uh, find Odin again with class advantage. Even without the Odin sleep, he's still fine. Another big heavy attack to finish it. And now I guess the plan here would be to go with a damage over time uh, a champion. Where you don't have to rely on specials or heavy attacks to get your damage. So the goal here, I'm just going to go Human Torch. I'm going to go with the pre-fight. And I'm going to try and just use regular combos and not knock her down. That's going to be the goal here. So no heavy attacks. And no specials. bait of the special one. Oh, we got clipped. Not great. But can we finish it off anyway? Yes. So there's our heavy attack at the end. So I got clipped, but not perfect, but the strategy is, is sound. Uh, so again, going with someone, maybe like a, you know, Nick Fury will be a popular option, I'm sure. Um, but any, any damage over time champion would be, would be nice there. Okay, uh, probably like a, let's say even like a, someone maybe like an eye bomb. I don't know, I feel like there's lots of options there. But, oh, we actually did unlock the second week, the second one here as well. I didn't think that that was going to be the case. So I guess we're getting both on this week one, maybe this week two, and maybe week that one will be released in, uh, in two separate weeks. So let's take a look at this one. We got 2.2. All right, we got a different uh, one here. Something different, hard head. If the attacker attempts to stun the defender, the stun is reflected back. But if you use a romance synergy, it won't trigger. And when the stun reflection, uh, each failed stun reflection will grant the attacker a permanent passive fury. So that actually won't be too bad. Looks like we can go uh, with Hercules will be pretty easy. Then we need an evade counter here 
four. Uh, okay. When the defender is knocked down, they get an evade charge. Each time the defender successfully evades an attack, inflict a disorient debuff. All right, so we want, and all special attacks are unblockable. Uh, fine. So let's go. Uh, let's edit our team here. Let's go grab Hercules, who actually has a, what is it? He's got the romance synergy with, with Wolverine. Uh, not that that's going to really matter. Really, we can just be Stun Reflect without that, but we can test out Wolverine to see how that works. I believe we can throw on Archangel, and Archangel here has a romance with with uh, Psylocke. So let's try those, Hercules. Let's try out this team here. All right. So let's go this side first. So we can just try again Hercules here because he's got the romance synergy. So I won't even have to build up a charge. I should just be able to parry right off the bat and get the fury. Yeah, there's the power of love. There when the timer's down. Can go in. There we get a third one, except we get clipped. So we're just waiting out that timer. That's fine. It's Hercules. I'm not really worried. But yeah, I think you can just bring any of the romance synergy champions. Just have to be prepared that it's just the that first parry is just not gonna work. Even here again, just be prepared that it's not going to work there. Then you can go ahead and attack in. So no problem there. We can try the same thing. Even with, uh, let's just go Archangel here and see what we can do. Again, should, we should get it as well. So the first one should not work. Yeah, we got Power Love. So now we can go ahead, get our parry heavy off just have to be prepared there so that the timing doesn't work out so well you have to be able to get your attack in while the timer is still down because if it comes back while you are while you parry you're still gonna <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get hit so there I can get my parry heavy off but now if I do it again I got to attack in quick before it goes back to green Well, that was cool. So the stun from the neurotoxins got rid of the first one, and I was able to parry freely. All right, it all goes down. So it's just a little bit of a play style change. Just to make sure you know when, when it's happening. So let's go again with Archangel. So again, first parry is it going to work, but it's going to give me the, the fury. Second one, we can go in. Third one, I won't have time for the heavy or else I'm going to get clipped. So then I can parry again, get a second fury, then parry, it sticks, and then do the same thing again. I'm not going to have enough time to get off a heavy attack, so I'll just do right into a light attack there. Again, get that pair, get the first one down. Going again. Done. So Archangel, really solid here. Of course, the game is fro froze for a second, <laughs> but we're back in. Oh, I didn't really bring anyone for. Uh, let's build up Hercules because I didn't really bring anyone for havoc there well the timing is a little off but that's okay I 
think I'll just have to go and take a good look at a list of see what all the uh, romance champions are. I love when Kaban puts in something, but there's no way to actually search <laughs> the synergies. So it's like, here, play the game, but go check out somebody else who's done all the work to figure out <laughs> what the synergies are that you need. Alright, so let's go with... Uh, let's go with Hercules. there perfect all right now it goes down now we've got to fight Hercules okay we'll just use our own Stun hit, but it went as right as the timer was coming back. Oops. What about his immortality? Just wait for that to go. And down goes Hercules. Should be able to use Mole Man here for the boss. So let's see how this should. And I'm not going to use any stuns here because it also has hard head. Okay. So I'm really just going with the anti evade mechanics here. So I'm not going to stun. Play stun immune. mass. In here, really nice, as long as I don't stun. up there. Oh, that's what it is. Her ability accuracy, maybe. I tried to hold my my block and trigger the unstoppable, but it might have been her uh, ability accuracy that shut that down. So I thought that was going to work, but it did not. Luckily, we survived, so we'll just continue with the same methodology here. Just keep the evade up. No stuns. Watch out for the unblockable specials. And Mole Man does a great job here. So there, Mole Man with the solo, just again, Black Widow with her ability accuracy might not be able to count on that uh, unstoppable there. But worked out great. I'll probably do some more uh, live on stream 
But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully that helped. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.